In this video, we will plot some energy graphs for a horizontal spring mass oscillator. Let's first plot an energy versus x graph. Because the box is only going to oscillate between negative x max and the positive x max, the range of x for our graph will only go from negative x max to positive x max. Out of the different kinds of energy, the potential energy is the most convenient one to plot as a function of x because uh, the spring's elastic potential energy is 1 half kx squared. The second degree equation tells us that the potential energy versus x graph must be a parabola, shaped just like a u. As for the total mechanical energy, E equals to k plus u is a constant. So if I plot the total mechanical energy E, it will look like this, because it stays a constant. This means uh, the kinetic energy is uh, the constant total mechanical energy minus the u. So the kinetic energy graph is the potential energy u flipped. So if we flip this uh, u upside down, we get the kinetic energy graph like this. So this one is the potential energy. That's the kinetic energy. And the one that is a constant is the total mechanical energy. This also matches uh, what we know. At x equals to 0, the equilibrium, the potential energy is 0, while the kinetic energy is a maximum. At the end points, negative amplitude and positive amplitude, the potential energy is a maximum when the kinetic energy is 0. What if we want to plot a energy versus time graph? It may help if we plot a position versus time graph first. Suppose we start the t equals to 0 at the equilibrium, and the position is a sine function. These x equals to 0 points will be at the equilibrium. Equilibrium here, 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 and here. And so they all correspond to 0 potential energy. So for the potential energy graph, these are the 0, no potential energy points. Those x equals to positive x max or negative x max correspond to the endpoints, which means the potential energy is maximum at these locations. So the potential energy would be the maximum for all three of these points. And since potential energy is 1 half kx squared, all these points have positive potential energy. So the potential energy versus time graph looks like this. We can also use equations to plot this graph. Since our position is a sine function, the position as a function of time is x max times sine 2 pi divided by period times t. The potential energy 1 half kx squared would be this, if you plug in the x here. This is a sine squared function, which gives you exactly the same graph. Because the potential energy is a sine squared graph, it goes up and down like this twice in one period. As for the total mechanical energy, it is still a constant. So the total mechanical energy graph is still a horizontal line. That's the total mechanical energy. And because the total mechanical energy equals to k plus u, that's a constant, the kinetic energy is still the constant total mechanical energy minus the potential energy. So it again is the flip of the potential energy. So the kinetic energy k looks like this. And if we start t equals to 0 at a different position, our energy graph would shift accordingly. If the position graph is a cosine function, then our energy graph will be like this. If our position graph is a negative sine function, the energy graph will look like this. 
no matter what, if it's at end point, the potential energy is at maximum, the kinetic energy is zero. If it's at equilibrium, the kinetic energy is at maximum while the potential energy is zero.